the necessity of death. We spend so much time, emotion and energy, lamenting death. Yes, death can be untimely. Somebody dies young, somebody dies in the process of achieving something extraordinary or, or a love is prematurely, or the tragedy of parents losing children that should never happen. But there are accidents and illnesses, there's a randomness to some things in life that bring much grief. But the regular process of aging and dying is a beautiful zone of nature. It's actually something that nature builds in our RNA. Our bodies are constantly renewing and reproducing cells and they say that in seven years we have all the new set of cells. So we could live forever. I don't have anything in my body that any cell that I had at birth. Actually, I know my tenth cycle of renewing cells. I had 10 times over renewed every cell in my body. So there's nothing that couldn't stop me from doing it a hundred times. But then what? Some 100,000 year old man will run by and that wouldn't be flexible if every being, every species stayed forever. We have a time in life to, to love, to create, to sing and dance. We have a time to cry and lament. But then we must go for others to follow suit and do better than we had done or have a chance to love and sing. It's built in, is the telomeres. part of the RNA, a chain of information that with every reproduction of a cell, it gets shortened. There's a little bit of information that is lost. We're so used to copying physically, copy machines, printers, electronically, which is copy information between devices, download music, and, and even that process has mistakes. And there's always a correction going on, because if we were doing a raw copying of a song over and over, we would lose bits here and there. Information would get garbage, and the sun will start sounding not so right with time. But the electronic devices have ways to check and correct information that is copy run. Well, the RNA through the telomeres does this intentionally. So every time a cell reproduces, there's a chance that it's going to have a little mistake. That's the reason my skin is showing funny patches of color and uh, why the hair is white. 
My bones keep breathing. My eyesight deteriorates. All says that they're kind of confused and doing the wrong thing. Soon that's gonna, maybe it's already happening to my brain. It doesn't feel like it, but I know they want to tell. But soon there will be more and more neurons reproducing not exactly right. And, uh, and I will remember less of this. One day I will be like, telomeres, what? I don't remember what that is. And that's okay. That's good. It's part of a beautiful process I can watch and I'm part of. And, and I shouldn't reject because it's all about sustaining life. It's not about any single individual, but the collective. What we are as humanity, what we are as a planet of millions of beings interacting. What we are as a solar system, as a galaxy the millions and millions of stars and then the billions of galaxies and the stars that are themselves being born and, and dying. Our bodies are designed to perish But there's something else, there's our thoughts, our minds, our emotions, our consciousness might disappear, most likely does, but there's more even. By accepting the very dying of my physical body, I can find a spiritual peace and I can be part of this universe. Be river and be tree and look forward to the day I'm buried and I feed a tree. The day the roots of a tree reach my bones. And then I will be soil and tree and warm and apple and bird and a neck and fish. It is a process where we come and go